He married a little girl, but a big surprise awaited him at the wedding night. In the heart of a remote village where traditions overshadowed the whispers of change, Eliza, a vibrant 18-year-old with dreams that stretched far beyond the confining horizons of her birthplace, found herself ensnared in a ceremony as ancient as the hills that cradled the village in their stony embrace. Clad in the simple yet symbolic tribal attire that did little to mirror the complexity of her emotions, her steps towards the altar were heavy, not with the grace of a bride, but with the shackles of an impending doom she had not chosen. Tears carved silent paths down her cheeks, a stark contrast to the dry resolve of her parents' faces. With a heart pounding against the cage of her ribcage, she pleaded, her voice a fragile thread of despair, begging not to be thrust into the arms of Adrian, an 83-year-old man whose life's chapters were nearing their end. Yet her cries, raw and laden with anguish, fell upon the unyielding ground of tradition and financial desperation. Her parents, unmoved by her pleas, laid bare the chilling revelation. She had been sold to Adrian, a transaction cloaked in the guise of marriage, stripping her of choice and voice in one fell swoop. The ceremony, devoid of the usual joy and celebration that accompanied unions, was a solemn affair that echoed the hollow feeling in Eliza's heart. As she stood there, a mere figure in a tableau that spelled the death of her dreams, the air was thick with the unspoken. The vibrant dreams of nursing, of healing and hope, seeming to wither under the weight of her new reality, a life bound to a man whose years far outnumbered her own desires for freedom and love. Feeling utterly betrayed and achingly alone, Eliza's vows were but a whisper, a ghost of consent that never was. The moment her fate was sealed with the ceremonial rites, a part of her retreated into the shadows of her being, mourning the future she had envisioned. A future now as distant as the stars that blinked impassively above the village, in this solemn exchange Eliza was not only wedded to Adrian, but to a life that felt like a distant echo of her vibrant dreams, a stark reminder of the price of traditions that held fast to the old ways, uncaring of the hearts that they broke in their wake. In the lush embrace of a village far removed from the bustling noise of the modern world, Eliza, with a heart full of dreams and a spirit yearning for purpose, had once found herself amidst a landscape that seemed to whisper secrets of old. It was here, under the vast canopy of the cosmos, where destiny entwined her path with Noah's, a young warrior whose soul echoed the untamed beauty of the land he belonged to. Their meeting was not mere chance, but a confluence of two souls seeking solace in the warmth of understanding and the thrill of forbidden love. Amidst the shadows cast by moonlit trees, they carved a sanctuary of their own, a hidden nook where time stood still, and the only witnesses to their blooming love were the ancient stars and the silent night. In Noah's eyes, Eliza found the depths of the ocean, and, in his embrace, the safety of a home she had longed for. Their conversations, a blend of dreams, whispered and laughter shared painted the night air with the hues of a love that was as profound as it was clandestine. However, like all tales of forbidden love, theirs too was a candle flickering in the wind, vulnerable to the storms of reality. The discovery of their secret rendezvous by Eliza's parents tore through the fabric of their concealed paradise, unleashing a tempest of disdain and confrontation. It was in the midst of this storm that the bitter truth, sharp as a blade, was revealed to Eliza, cutting deeper than the sting of her parents' disapproval. Eliza, the girl who had woven dreams of love and acceptance in the threads of her heart, learned that she was not the daughter of the couple she had called family, but a niece, a remnant of obligation never fully embraced. This revelation, heavy with the weight of unspoken resentments and hidden truths, left her reeling a stranger to herself and the life she had lived. The knowledge of her true origins, coupled with the loss of her secret love, enveloped Eliza in a shroud of solitude and identity crisis. The world, once vibrant with the colors of love and possibility, now seemed a monochrome shadow of her former dreams. In the heartbreak of this dual loss, Eliza found herself standing at the crossroads of her existence, 
forced to reckon with the fragments of her shattered identity and the daunting journey of self-discovery that lay ahead. Under the cloak of nightfall, Eliza's heart, heavy with the sorrow of unfilled dreams and an uncertain future, trailed behind Adrian. Each step towards the tent, their supposed new home, felt like a march towards a life she hadn't chosen, a life far removed from the passionate dreams that once fueled her spirit. The air was thick with the scent of the earth and the subtle fragrance of wildflowers, a stark contrast to the turmoil churning within her. As she crossed the threshold, the soft glow of the lanterns cast shadows that danced on the canvas walls, creating a surreal backdrop for the turning point in her life. The sight that greeted her was one that she could never have prepared for. There in the middle of this unexpected sanctuary stood Noah, his presence a vibrant flame in the dim light. Eliza's heart, which had been shrouded in despair, skipped a beat, teetering on the edge of disbelief and hope. Noah's eyes met hers, and in them she saw the reflection of her own bewildered emotions, mirroring the myriad questions that flooded her mind. The revelation that Adrian was Noah's father, and the marriage but a facade to bring them together, was a plot twist in her life story that she hadn't dared to dream of. The tribe's tradition, a peculiar yet beautiful testament to their ways, had ingeniously woven a path for her and Noah to be united, transcending the betrayal of her parents with a tapestry of love and destiny. In that moment, the tent transformed from a symbol of her captivity to a cocoon of their love, safeguarding the purity of their union from the harsh judgments of the world outside. The realization that their love had been strong enough to orchestrate this moment, to defy norms and expectations, imbued Eliza with a newfound strength and clarity. The shadows that had clung to her heart began to dissipate, replaced by a luminous hope and a deep abiding love for Noah. This night, which had started as a journey into the unknown, culminated in a celebration of love's triumph over adversity. The revelation of their orchestrated union, masterminded by the deep-rooted traditions of the tribe and the unwavering love of Noah, rekindled Eliza's belief in the possibility of a future filled with love, acceptance, and belonging. In the embrace of their newfound happiness, Eliza and Noah stood together, ready to embark on a life's journey, woven from the threads of destiny and the unbreakable bonds of their love. In the heart of a remote village, nestled amidst lush landscapes where nature's symphony plays uninterrupted, Eliza found herself weaving a new tapestry of life, one that was unexpectedly filled with vibrant threads of joy and fulfillment. The transition from her former life, marked by dreams deferred and a heart cloaked in betrayal, to a life embraced with open arms by a community that saw her not as an outsider, but as one of their own, was a journey painted with the hues of resilience and hope. Eliza's days began to fill with purpose as she melded her fervent aspiration to heal with the needs of her newfound family. Her hands, once trembling with uncertainty, now moved with confidence as she tended to the ailments of the tribe, her knowledge of modern medicine weaving seamlessly with the ancient wisdom passed down through generations. It was in this harmonious blend of old and new that Eliza found her true calling, her passion for nursing blooming like the wildflowers that dotted the landscape of her new home. Supported unwaveringly by Noah and enveloped by the warmth of a community that had come to rely on her skills, Eliza's spirit flourished. She discovered that family transcends the confines of bloodline, realized through the bonds of love, support, and mutual respect that tethered her to the tribe. This realization illuminated her path, guiding her through moments of reflection and gratitude for the unexpected turns her life had taken. As Eliza walked among the tribe, her presence a symbol of healing and hope, she understood the true essence of home and belonging. It wasn't the same place where one was born that defined home, but rather where one's heart found peace and purpose. Through her journey of self-discovery and transformation, Eliza learned that the most profound transformations often arise from the ashes of shattered dreams, leading us to embrace a life more beautiful and meaningful than we could have ever imagined. Her story became a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, 
a reminder that amidst the trials and tribulations of life, there lies the potential for extraordinary growth and happiness. As she looked towards the horizon, her heart no longer heavy but filled with gratitude and love, Eliza realized that she had not just found a new life, but had discovered a deeper understanding of what it means to truly belong.